Hi, I'm Hazel Chasty and I'm with the Para team for Great British Archery. I'm going to show you what I do five days a week. I call it daily conditioning or rather our coaches call it daily conditioning. That's the name that's been given to this little set of exercises. Uh, it's really easy to do. Just keeps you in tone. I, I use a red band or a grey band. You can use any colour, any bit of elastic that you've got. It's a really simple set of exercises. Um, they kind of echo what you do during your shooting, but they just keep those little muscles, a little rotator cup muscles strong and nice and tight. And I'll show you how I use it. So I've got a door frame here. Rather than drill holes in, in your walls or near a gym, just open the door, stuff the elastic into where you want it, close the door, it's in. So my first exercise um, I'll be standing sideways with my arm at this angle and I'll be lifting my, my arm up. So I'm going to hold on to this elastic to make that more difficult. And I'll do 10 reps of this. Same on the other arm. So standing the feet apart, shoulders nice and steady, elbow at shoulder height, and pulling upwards with that with that band. I do ten reps on this hand. Trying to keep the shoulder level. Don't let the elbow drop. Keep it level with the shoulder. Try not to lean back or. You use your side muscles, you just want to be using that hand should be the only thing, kind of like a happy cat, if you've seen the happy cat. I'm going to turn around now and go the other, the other direction. So instead of pulling, instead of pulling the bow, the band away from me, I'm going to be stood behind, I'm going to be pulling it forward. So the, back, the band's in the same place, in the door, I haven't had to move anything with that. Let's get hold of the band. Same position, feet shoulder width apart, keep the elbow level with your shoulder and pulling down. And then change again to the other arm. I'm, I'm only doing 10 on each side, but I'm just do slightly less so you don't get bored watching me. So again, keeping the elbow at the same height of your shoulder, nice and steady. Quite slow movements. You know, anybody can do this all day, but you want to you want to really test yourself and have control over that band. Nice smooth movements. The next the next exercise I do, you just need a door handle, or you can stub it back in the door in a different place. I use a door handle. Hold on to one side, and then I'm doing a fly. So I'm pulling out to the side, come back in again. Slow movements. Maybe 10 on each side. Turn around. So I hold the band to where, you, where you're feeling the, the, the nice resistance without ridiculous. Remember, it's not a weight training session. It's just a little bit of keeping everything where it should be. So nice fly out to the side again. Maybe 10 of those. Then come back to the start position and then keeping my elbow tight against my side. I'm just going to move my elbow outwards. So this is what it looks like. It's just quite a small movement. You don't want to see a gap between, so you don't want to be doing this. You don't want to see a gap between your elbow and your side. You want, you can, some people use a little towel between their elbow and the side and then that helps you to, um, I haven't got a towel with me. It just helps you to feel to keep that elbow crunched down because you don't want to drop the towel. So stand up straight, keep the elbow in, and just moving the elbow in this direction. It doesn't have to go all the way out, just to where um, you're comfortable. We're just moving that shoulder muscle. So 10 times on this side, 10 times on the other side. And the final exercise I do is I stand on, on one end of the band with my right foot. 
and with my left arm, I pretend I'm st standing on that shooting line and I lift my bow. Keep my shoulder down as I would through a shot, lift my bow up into the air to a bow position and back down again. And I do that 10 times. And again, nice slow movement so that you're in control of the band and in control of your own muscles at all times. And that's what I do. I run through that whole session three times and that's my daily conditioning session done. And I do it five times a week, mostly on training days, occasionally on rest days, just to keep warmed up. It's not a warm up routine before shooting, although it could be. I use it in between around the day just to um, keep everything ticking. Hope you found that interesting. See you soon.